All right. For this one, for this one, we're going to be trying out prominence against left, left stamina. We're going to be seeing how well is it able to go up against it. Uh, they both have 10 and over is both the same. Wait, why did I use the, hold on, sorry. Over is both one star. There you go, because I don't have two, two, two star overs. So we're going to see how well it is at equalizing. And hopefully it does good. Now, through testings, it does seem like it does excel against left stamina. Which is a good thing, because... Blades can have a lot of uses. It's not just in one specific matchup that if they suck, they suck or whatever. Now, a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to judge on a specific matchup. Just because something is bad in one specific matchup does not mean in a different matchup it won't be better. I just picked the Phoenix Core just because, no particular reason. But it's just really just to demonstrate the idea. And obviously the reason why I picked uh, Longinus over Bahamut was because Longinus consistently has better stamina than uh, Bahamut. Beautiful. No? Now we can see that this definitely has use. I'm gonna do it one more time just to demonstrate the idea, but... My theory to why it's able to do so well is simply because of the fact that uh, it has a round shape and whatever. I guess when it's paired up with bearing against lefts, it doesn't topple as easy. I guess that I, that's my that's my working theory. When it's equalizing right at the end, it doesn't topple as much, so that's why you're gonna notice that there's a lot of stamina right at the end. See what I mean? Now I know what you're gonna be thinking. Oh, well, that could be the very specific bearing that you're using on it. Okay. That is a very valid point, so we're going to switch the bearings, and we're going to see. I'm very happy with this result, because it shows that Phoenix <laughs> has some value to it, which is good. If it can shut down one thing, I'm fine with it. I'm alright if it can't defeat every single little thing. I, I forget that this is like equalizing battles, so the battles are a lot longer. We're going to do one more and I'll reverse the order just to double check of uh, what I launch. If not, we're gonna move on to the next one. This is just to, this is like a quick just demonstration just to show. This is not gonna be as extensive as probably the other ones, but it's just to show that generally, if you were in this matchup, uh, what would occur? Beautiful. Now, we're, I'll reverse the order. Maybe people think that, oh, maybe it's the launch order or whatever. But we can safely say that Phoenix shut down Vanish. Consistently shut down Vanish. Actually, you all know what? It does a pretty good job now that I think about it. 
in a mirror match, I should say, in more specific, in more specific. Same result. All right. Beautiful. Uh, all right, let's try Astral. Now, Astral, I don't know if it'll do better, but uh, well, that's what we're here to see. I'm just hoping it doesn't burst it, because that's going to be really unfortunate if it does. Because I don't have two bearing dashes to do right now, so I'm going to have to just use the same bearing so it makes sense. So I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> I was going to say, so I don't know if it's going to burst it or not. Uh, that's why TT made bearing dash, everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me try that again. Now, in a matchup, Astral could, Astral Left could have Phoenix get the armor knocked out because Astral is kind of, uh, Left Astral is kind of recoily. I'm trying to think, in what cases could a left burst uh, Phoenix? I think only guilty if it got the armor off, I could see it happening. With the armor on, it's a little bit tough to burst Phoenix uh, with left spin attack. We're gonna see. <laughs> How good is it? So, it would be funny if Vanish it beats, but Astral doesn't. Then after it's going to be like this whole thing where I have to now think what specific matchups to use uh, prominence in. Yeah, these are where the battles are at. And just to be clear, you could easily have it where the left could beat prominence. It could go the other way. Like, let me be clear. There are factors in a battle where it could just happen, and maybe you lose to Astral, or maybe you lose to Roar, maybe you lose to Vanish, right? You just have to be aware of what parts you have and what parts your opponents have, and then after uh, launch accordingly. Also, I've had it this whole time in normal, not heavy. There's no specific reason. Just a, uh, I don't know. I just had it like that, just in case I could demonstrate the armor gimmick too to see, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So consistently it is able to kind of do the same thing against Astral. Now, what I'm very curious about is Roar, because of how Roar is. So I want to see. So, prominence shows promise. It shows promise. And to those that were really hoping prominence would be able to be, maybe beat these types of combos, then I hope you're able to use these videos as a good reference point. Should be clear that I'm not trying that these are just like personal testings that I just want to do and just show. Obviously, I know that maybe these aren't like the 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 format of like the testings that people would normally do. I try to do the best. Also, too, like if the thing is dominating, I'm not gonna do five and then five. Like I'm only doing five and five when it makes sense. Okay, roar along and it's overbearing. Now, Roar, I think, does have a shot. You know, let's be fair now. I feel like Roar could do it. I'm gonna look really dumb now if Roar doesn't actually do it. Then have to be like, ah, oh, well. All right. At least on the bright side, with how Roar's gimmick works and everything, I don't think Roar is going to burst with longness on it. And 
genius. <laughs> we have to do specific testings with this stuff so that way I'm able to see uh, in this very specific case, could it do it? It just keeps on going at it. Anything? If it's gonna beat it again, I'm just cutting it there. Okay. In a mirror matchup, does prominence dominate? If you have uh, this left combination and you are, I would say, about a mirror match or have like over and bearing and you're... <laughs> I don't think that bearing is rolling. I'm trying to just get this shot for the thumbnail. All right, whatever. I'm going to have the shot there. I'm going to Photoshop then after Phoenix there. Okay, I'm gonna leave, hold on, I need, I need a phoenix there for the thumbnail. Alright, good. Okay, so final thoughts. If you're in a mirror match and you have either Roar, Astral, or Vanish, it is very likely that it will go in Phoenix's favor as it's able to equalize and seemingly not topple that much at the end and has very good life after death in opposite spin. I'm not, is that right to say it has good life after death? It, no, I don't... It's good at equalizing against Bayes. Now, there's still the question of left spin attack with Guilty and right spin attack with Savior. Now, for those, I will probably combine them both in a video or I might do separate. So far, the weakness to counter prominence is uh, Dynamite slash Devil with F gear or right Astral because... Uh, in a mirror match, and specifically in a mirror match. Now, I don't know if you have Astral in attack. I don't know if uh, that's a different that's a different story. That's a different story. But uh, yeah, I'm very content with uh, Phoenix. I hope to see it have some good use in the meta. And let me know your thoughts. And yeah, that'll be it. Bye.